I'm Sebastian, and this is for Mrs. Manslaw and Arena Three Little Pigs and Somewhat That Wolf by Mark Tigu. <gasps> Once there were three little pigs, they lived on a farm, as most pigs do, and they were happy as most pigs are. Then one day, the farmer told them that he and his wife were moving to Florida. He paid the pigs for their good work and sent them on their way. Oh, in the mud. Let's buy potato chips. And the first pig said, Let's buy Stody Pop, said the second pig. Let's buy building supplies, said the third pig, who was altogether unpig like. Really? Reluctantly, the others agreed. The first pig decided to build the straw house since straw is cheap. He had plenty of money left over for potato chips. Three buckets of potato chips. Holy cow, that's too much. The second pig decided to build a stick house. Sticks are practically free. So, he had lots of money left over for Zodi Pop. We're easy. The third pig decided to build a brick house. She spent all of her money on bricks and mortar. Mortar. But the man at the hardware store gave her a sandwich. <laughs> a sandwich. Oh, a sandwich. Soon the straw house was finished. It was dusty and musty. But the first pig did not mind. He rocked in his hammock. 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 He ate potato chips. Of course. Soon after that, the stick house was done. It was small and there was no room for a bathtub. But the second pig did not mind. He took a mud bath and drank soda pop. Mud bath? Brick by brick, the third pig worked on worked on her, her house. Sometimes the other pigs would come to watch. They had a wonderful time. Finally, the brick house was finished. It was big, beautiful, and strong. The third pig was very happy. She filled a basket with vegetables from her garden. Ooh, a peacock. The next day, a wolf came to town. He was very hungry and somewhat bad. He went to a donut shop, but it was closed. He went to a hot dog stand, but it was locked. Finally, he went to a pizza parlor, but he wasn't allowed in. He left in a very bad mood. Grr! So he came to a straw house. It smelled like pig. I like pig, he said in a very friendly way. He banged on the door. Who is it? Called the first pig. The wolf opened up a old blower house down. I think the door is stuck, said the pig. So the wolf then huffed and puffed. Then he blew the house down. I can't believe that worked, he said. He had never blown down the house from before. Clearly, the first pig had got on her stupor and sped away. Bow, bow. Um, the, the wolf moved on, hungry but confident. He came to another house, but this one built of sticks. Same piggy smell. He knocked on the door. Who is it? Called the second pig. Wolf. Open up or I'll blow your house down. Trust me, he added. I've done it before. I think the door's jammed, said the pig. So the wolf took an enormous breath. And, and he huffed, and he puffed, and he blew the house down. I'm amazed it works, he said. Meanwhile, pig number two got on his bike and rode away. The wolf was still hungry. Very, very. 
The hungry wolf came to the beautiful brick house. He had noticed a familiar scooter and a bicycle, and a house reeked of pig. The somewhat bad wolf rang the doorbell. Who is it? called the pigs. The wolf opened up or I'll blow you this house down. The wolf. Oh no, said the pigs. Not now. We're watching our favorite cartoon. I mean, show. The starving wolf had took a humongous breath and he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he He huffed and he puffed and he stopped. The third pig said, Do you think he's still out there? He saw the wolf collapse on the lawn. Look at the poor guy, said the first pig. He's exhausted. Maybe he needs some potato chips. Then he would added, Maybe he needs some soda pop. The three pigs revived. The three pigs were. The three pigs revived the wolf with some smelling salts and invited him in. The somewhat bad wolf was embarrassed. I was so hungry I could not think straight. Have some soda pop. I mean, have a potato chip, said the first pig. Have soda pop, the second pig. Never mind that stuff, said the third pig. Dinner is almost ready. Since that house were wrecked, the first two pigs moved in with the third pig. My house is ru rules, she said. Made them clean their room before they went out to play. Boing. The wolf stayed to put where there's no more huffing, no more pussing, and they was hardly ever bad again. This book is The Three Little Pigs and the Somewhat Bad Wolf. And so they built, one of them built their house out of straw, one of them built their house out of bricks, and one of them built their house out of straw. I mean sticks. Straw. Sticks. Whatever. And, and so it went like this. They built their houses, they built the straw house, then, then the, um, then he was in his hammock. And, and and then he built a stick house. Then another pig built a he built a brick house, which was done in a couple hours. And he did it by brick by brick by brick by brick by brick by brick by brick. By brick. And it was really strong. And then the next day the wolf came and he blew down the house. But first, he went to the do not shop, but it was closed. Second, he went to the... What was it? Went to some place, and the door was locked. And then he went to the pizza parlor, and he had no shirt, no pants, and no socks, no shoes. No gloves, and he was, and it said no wolves allowed. And then he went to the first little pig's house, which was made of straw. And and so he blew that house down, and he was like, <gasps> and then he blew the house down. And he said, I can't believe I did that. Then the guy got on the scooter. And the second pig's house. Then the second pig had a stick house, and he did, and he said, "Trust me, I've blown it down before." Then he went, <gasps> and he blew the house down. Then he went to the third pig's house, and he said, "We're watching our favorite cartoon now." And then he, then he hung. And he 
said, is, do you think he's still out there? And then he was caught like, <sighs> then he said, look at the poor guy. Then he invited them inside and then he said, he, then he was embarrassed because he didn't, he, he was so hungry he couldn't think straight and then, and then he was hardly ever bad again. And at the beginning, their, 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 they, their farmers moved to Florida. And so that's what caused the pigs to do all this stuff. And one of them got, one of them got, um, potato chips, the second one got, uh, soda pop. And then, and then, um, and then the third pig, and then the third pig said, let's get some building supplies, who's unpig like Although two of the pigs were had spots on themselves, the black and black spots, and I thought that was quite weird. It's on the front cover. See, I see one spot, but it, oh, I see two spots right here. And then one of them had a bow, which I thought was quite funny. I don't know why a pig had the bow. Bye.